This is Eric Winheim, building biologist and electromagnetic radiation specialist. We are here in a computer lab. We're testing the quality of the electricity. We're using a special series of filters. DNA line filter, 100 and 200 amp, 20 and 30 amp, standard and low frequency, and of course the uh, state-of-the-art capacitive filter, Stetzer filter. So what we're going to do first is take a look at what we're measuring, and we're going to see that uh, we have almost 1800 here on the Stetzer meter been used in many peer-reviewed reports. The PicoScope 220A oscilloscope has a spectrum analyzer screen and an oscilloscope uh, time domain view. The peak-to-peak -peak voltage is about 794 millivolts. We call it 0.8 volts. And most of the uh, High frequency transients are down here underneath 100 kilohertz. So, first we're going to turn on the Stetzer filter, and we see that that dropped us down to 136. The amplitude is almost the same at the low frequencies down here, but most of it has been removed just by this simple capacitive filter that plugs in. So that's 1800 with nothing. Stetzer filter only 134. Okay, we're going to turn off the Stetzer filter. And now we're going to turn on the 100 amp DNA line filter in standard configuration. We can see the amplitude of the voltage frequencies, uh, voltage transients is about the same, but it's drastically cleared up. I mean, there's a huge difference there. So we get 149, 150. Okay, now we're going to use the same 100 amp DNA line filter, but we're going to switch to the low frequency model. And you can see the low frequency model cleans up a lot of these frequencies here. And that's down here in the below 5 kilohertz range. So the low frequency model gets us down to 77. And with the Stetzer filter it gets us down to 33. Okay, we'll turn the Stetzer filter off. We turn the filters off. We're now going to test the DNA line filter 20 and 30 amp model. Okay, so we're going to turn it on. This is the standard frequency DNA 20 and 30 amp model. Okay, so we're down to 129. And with the Stetzer, We get down to 55. Turn the Stetzer off. Now we're going to go to the DNA line filter 2030 amp low frequency. Okay, so that gets us down to 49. And with the Stetzer, it would clean it up even more down to 21. Now this is really clean power and it's also very healthy for people because it doesn't uh, couple capacitively to the human body. Okay, so we're turning the Stetzer off. We're turning the DNA filters off. And that's the kind of electrical high frequency transients we got coming in on the feed line that is uh, supplying power to all the instruments in this room. Thank you very much.